Hello there and welcome back. Today we have a fight between Killer Croc, Waylon Jones, and Brock Grumlow, Crossbones. So, let's just get straight into this intelligence. Um, I would say this is a fairly easy one to do. I mean, uh, Brock Grumlow isn't considered a genius by any stretch of the imagination, nor is Killer Croc. But, considering that he does have some knowledge in, I guess, interrogation as well as aviation, among other things. Again, in this fight, I would say that that matters a little, right? While with Waylon Jones, he doesn't seem to be much in the way of a, again, doesn't seem to have much of a academic background or anything like that. Tactics. Um... I say for tactics, this has to go to, to again, to crossbones. Again, I mean, okay. I'm just gonna strip with this. Killer Croc is a bit. He's a bit animalistic. He's more animalistic, animalistic and instinctual than I would say the lizard. Right. So someone who's kind of running on instincts. For someone who's a primarily, you know, going to go in guns blazing, hoping that it works, right? But considering that he is a foe of Captain America, you do have to have some strategy. So I'd give it to Crossbones, fighting ability. No, no, I'm on. Maybe it might not matter much in this fight, but Crossbones is a master martial artist. Krilla Croc does have wrestling, but wrestling. What is wrestling compared to, you know, I would guess, uh, knowing various forms of martial arts. He's been trained, trained by Taskmaster. And for those who don't know, Taskmaster is amongst the greatest martial artists in Marvel. Uh, he is one of, from what I know, two characters who has a seven in terms of fighting skill, the other being Ares. That tells you what you need to know, I would say. Strength. According to Batman, Killer Croc can lift up a school bus. Crossbones is a peak human condition. Speed, same thing. Durability. Vulnerability and healing. Uh, I would say Killer Crocs, uh, uh, let's see, what the, what's the condition called? Atavism. A-T-A-V-I-S-M. Atavism. It grants him, um, abilities similar to that of Lizard, right? Of similar to Crocodiles and whatnot. So, he can regenerate, I would say, he has an efficient healing response. Uh, swimming speed, obviously, uh, is the thing... <clears throat> that's obviously greatly enhanced, but he can also run incredibly fast too. Uh, let's see, durability. His scales, again, like lizards, are impenetrable, or not impenetrable, but they're immune to bullets. Among other things, he's also taken punches from someone like Bane, a venom-enhanced Bane, mind you. So he's, which I would say is above that of what Crossbones can dish out. So that covers durability and vulnerability. Energy projection. Uh, Crossbones does have guns. He does have ranged weaponry. So, there is that. And I give him the versatility soon because he has more to work with outside. With I mean, while contrasting to Killer Croc, who simply, again, follows instincts. X-Factor. I give it to Crossbones for primarily one reason. He is very similar to that of Batman, not as skilled. But he is, when you think about it, they kind of, they are somewhat similar. They both are in peak human condition, and Crossbones being slightly above that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they both are master martial artists, and they both have a vast arsenal at, at their, you know, um, I guess, convenience. So, right, um... They can really, honestly, as much as I know that guns might not do much, right? Guns probably won't do anything. If anything, that might just make uh, Killer Croc even more angry. However, considering that Killer Croc has been, um, I guess, he's been beaten by people who are, are, are physically strong. Again, I know... Uh, a Venom Enhanced, I think it was Venom Enhanced Bane who broke Color Croc's arms. 
but still someone as I would say as skilled as Crossbones could probably take down Killer Croc. And that's just again my opinion. Please correct me in the comments if you have any insight that differs. Um, and that covers this fight. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you'd like, subscribe, like, and share the video. You know, do as you will. Um, and I wish you all a good day. And uh, please stay tuned for the next fights.